First, is the safety of Richmond in jeopardy? The city's coalition of police thinks so, and they plan to make sure everyone who passes through town gets the message. Our crime insider John Burkett is live to explain how, and he, ha he tells us what the mayor is saying. John? Talking about high violent crime, that is one way, one example, the city cops are getting the community involved in their wage war. Another example will be on display on 95 South near 64 East in the Arthur Ashe Boulevard Wednesday morning. The Richmond Coalition of Police calling it informing the public. Mayor LeVar Stoney calling it Bush League. This stretch of 95 South near Arthur Ashe Boulevard. We'll have hundreds of thousands of cars, trucks, and SUVs rolling through. A lot of eyeballs will see this. A message from the Richmond Coalition of Police saying the city is in crisis. I really just want to spread awareness to the citizens. I just, I don't think they know how bad it is that how few officers are on the streets. For this organization to spring a new play plan during a pandemic when the city's in a financial crisis doesn't really make a lot of sense. Uh, they could have been a little bit more strategic about it and their timing. We could have talked about this two years ago, never was brought up. They bring it up in a pandemic year where we're all facing a financial crisis. They, you know, we, I'm, I'm glad that we supported them this year and giving them two pay uh, step increases in one year. Uh, I'm willing to sit down and talk to them further, but tactics like this, you know, is just kind of bush leak. Mayor LeVar Stoney adding other mid-major markets are experiencing the same staffing shortages, if not more than Richmond. I've supported a, a pay increase for uh, Richmond police and fire every year, except for the pandemic year. And we're going to continue to support our, our police department. So uh, people have the right to their own opinion. They don't have a right to their own facts. Crime is up 18% this year. Homicides are up 20% so far this year. Robberies are up 24% this year. Officers just don't feel compelled to go on and do proactive stuff because they don't have the other officers backing them up. Those stats compared to this time last year. Crime Insider sources tell me veteran officers have fled the city ranks to join up with suburban squads. Since last year, my sources say 40 to 60 officers have either retired, transferred, or fled the business. And people that live in the city are noticing. When you in Hanover or you in Chesterfield, you feel like, okay, the police is really on their job. But in the city, you don't feel like that. You don't feel safe because then that's probably why. They're not getting paid right. I do think they deserve raises. I also think teachers deserve raises. Sorry, it's always, it's always gonna be like that. Not to mention if you pay our cops better, chances are they're gonna have better days at work. And that in turn is gonna make the public a lot happier. And speaking of violence, Bill and Candace, we're on scene of a shooting here on the city south side. It kicked off about 10 o'clock tonight in the 2200 block of Broad Rock Boulevard. One man was injured on scene. His injuries described as serious but non-life threatening. Again, one resident I spoke with tonight says he supports officers to have equal play, equal pay across the metro region. But he adds he's disappointed that it has come to a billboard saying that gives criminals a glaring and free way to look at information. 